Ellen DeGeneres is constantly making us laugh, but beyond that, she also continues to use her platform to make the world a better place. On an almost daily basis, the talk show host inspires millions with her random acts of kindness and with her support for countless important causes. From specific political legislation to just a general desire to promote positivity and kindness. While her talk show has had many high points throughout the years, from her entertaining segments, fun interviews with celebrities, games and giveaways, there are still people who just can't help but dislike her. And many of them are celebrities that might have also appeared at some point on her show. Ellen has hosted a ton of great celebrity guests, but some appearances are far more memorable than others. We're going to take a look at some of the most cringeworthy moments on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, from things that will make you laugh out loud to scenarios that would likely be too awkward to watch, especially when it is the host herself who is having some delicate remarks. In 2016, Ellen was even sued by a Georgia-based real estate agent named T.T. Pierce for making a joke about her name. The incident happened during a segment called What's Wrong With These Signs, when Ellen mispronounced a woman's name by turning it into a breast joke. After showing a sign for a nursing home with a suggestive name, which had nothing to do with T.T.'s company, Ellen set up a joke about her name. She introduced the realtor to the world, complete with her phone number, via a photo of her real estate sign, which followed another sign reading nipple convalescent home. In her lawsuit, Pierce insisted that her name was pronounced TT, coming from the Nigerian word for flower. According to the suit, she was subsequently subjected to several prank phone calls, which she said were ridiculing and harassing in nature. While many people had come out in support of TT, others said it had been just a joke and Ellen shouldn't have been sued over it. No one is immune to making off-handed comments about someone else's kid, not even Ellen. Celine Dion was a guest on the show when her son was quite young and several people had pointed out her son's long hair. The Canadian singer is normally easygoing and funny when she makes the talk show rounds, but normally that changes when someone mentions her family in a negative connotation. When Ellen took a jab at her son's hair, she was not impressed and instantly went on the defensive. Even some people in the audience groaned. After asking Ellen if she has a problem with her son's appearance, Celine proceeded to lay down the law about critiquing her child, while acknowledging that her parenting choices will never please everyone. And as the atmosphere in the studio turned frosty, it was very obvious that Ellen hit a nerve. Caitlyn Jenner is a vocal advocate for LGBTQ plus rights, so everyone would have thought she and Ellen would get along pretty well. However, in a 2015 sit-down, viewers were proven otherwise. Ellen confronted Caitlyn about her conservative views on same-sex marriage. Once Caitlyn transitioned, she became vocal about transgender rights, as well as equality for people in the LGBT community, all being topics that were near to Ellen's heart. However, after Ellen complimented Jenner on her work, as a transgender rights activist, the conversation got heated when she asked Jenner why she had been anti-gay marriage for so long. Jenner expressed that she didn't quite get the idea of gay marriage, claiming to be a traditionalist, and that she thought it would be good to preserve the institution of marriage as between a man and a woman. Ellen was clearly irritated, and though Jenner did say that she'd since changed her views, Ellen sensed that perhaps that wasn't entirely true. It's funny because you're still kind of a little not on board with it, she said. The incident with T.T. Pierce wasn't the only time Ellen got criticized for making a joke concerning a sensitive subject. In 2017, Ellen shared a photo on Twitter wishing Katy Perry a happy 33rd birthday. The photo showed Portia, Ellen, and Katy having a good time, but the problem was the photo captured Ellen staring at Perry's cleavage saying it's time to bring out the big balloons. Many people were not impressed, especially since the tweet came in the time when Hollywood was facing sexual assault and harassment claims against producer Harvey Weinstein. Though the two women are known to be very good friends, people couldn't forgive Ellen for that oversight. The Twitter hordes were quick to pounce on Ellen's birthday wish with a double standard hashtag. British talk show host Pierce Morgan even tweeted that if a man had made that joke, Ellen would lead the cries of a sexist pig. 
When Ellen was selected to host the Oscars in 2014, everyone was amazed and responded to her loving pokes and prods with great delight. However, there was one moment that left the viewers' opinions divided when Ellen turned her attention to the living legend Liza Minnelli. While introducing some of the famous names sitting in the audience, Ellen referred to Liza Minnelli as the best Liza Minnelli's impersonator she had ever seen, and finished with, good job sir. Liza looked a bit perplexed and not very amused by the joke, but all in all seemed to take it well. Though she later told the press that she had no hard feelings about it, Ellen was widely criticized for the harsh joke and was even called transphobic. One of the most awkward and uncomfortable moments to ever air on the show actually didn't involve a celebrity guest, but an audience member who was excited when she found out that she would be rewarded greatly due to her tough life. In 2015, Ellen told the story of a young woman by the name of Jamie Bells who was a straight-A student struggling to pay tuition on her own, and even donated blood every week for six months just to buy herself a computer. Ellen decided to bring her onto the stage and tell her that the company Shutterfly was going Going to be paying her tuition. However, just as she was going to say it, her producer Andy interrupted to say that Shutterfly was not going to pay Bell's tuition, but was going to give her a computer. It was made even more awkward when Bell's replied that she already had a computer. This wasn't the only time Katy Perry was involved in something Ellen inconsiderably said. Everyone who loves or follows Katy Perry's life and career knows she was married to a comedian named Russell Brand. Well, Ellen seemed to have forgotten. Katy Perry appeared on the show in May 2017 and declared her single status. Ellen also decided to play a game with Katy Perry to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club. In fact, when she announced a game called Will You Parry Me, the singer joked about not wanting to get married again, but she She's just met with a blank stare from the host. Katie awkwardly reminded her of her short-lived marriage to the British comedian and even brought up the fact that she gave her wedding presents on the show. Even though Wendy Williams has been to Ellen's a few times, she's never invited her to her show. Even before coming to the show, she managed to say a few words to Ellen's wife, Portia de Rossi. Before Portia came out, Wendy approached her on the red carpet and asked her to comment on apparently being seen, splashing about with a woman in the jacuzzi. Maybe that's why there have been a few rather uncomfortable moments between the two famous hosts when they sat down to chat in two different segments on Ellen. When Wendy Williams first appeared on the show in 2013, Ellen branded her right away as mean by asking her whether she had always been so outspoken and if she'd gotten into trouble by saying bad things about people. She barely hid her disdain for the not-so-subtle shade Williams threw at Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, who at the time were expecting their first child. However, moments later, Wendy plugged her PETA ad by acknowledging DeGeneres' veganism before inexplicably asking her how she lived without bacon. Without even thinking, Ellen replied it was because she thought pigs were very smart animals, making the conversation a little awkward. As we've seen already in Katy Perry's case, Ellen's memory can get her into a little bit of trouble. Her interview with Dakota Johnson started on the wrong foot and only got worse from there. While discussing the actress's recent 30th birthday, the host couldn't help but wonder why she didn't get an invite to the star's party. However, the actress immediately confronted her by saying that wasn't the truth and that the host could ask everybody, even her producer. Finally, off camera, someone affiliated with the show confirmed that Johnson was right. DeGener had been out of town and couldn't be there, said a woman wearing a headset. Why didn't I go, DeGeneres asked herself out loud, admitting defeat and joking, oh yeah, I had that thing. Ellen DeGeneres famously fostered a very affectionate and public friendship with the Obama family. Every single one of their segments over the years showed how comfortable they were around each other. However, both the audience and Michelle Obama have safely concluded that Ellen DeGeneres is a terrible person to shop with. Since Obama finished in the office, Michelle would have to learn how to look after herself without the help of the White House staff. So Ellen came up with the idea to take her to CVS. She wanted to make sure Michelle still knew how to 
use coupons, turn coins into cash with Coinstar, and of course push a shopping cart around. But at one point, it seemed that Ellen went a bit too far when she announced via a loudspeaker that the First Lady of the United States was suffering from a rash. Though she did say that her friend Shelly needed cream for her rash, it was obvious she was referring to Michelle, who was the only one next to her. Some viewers thought a little bit more correctness should have been appropriate when it came to someone in such an important public office.